Hi everyone, this is Matthew Alor. In this video, I will take you through a project that will make you more proficient in Microsoft Word. This video will also help you pass Microsoft Word 365 and 2019 exams. So let's go through this project one after the other. Project 1, Task 1. Add a box page border with a three point width and the color tan accent 6, darker 50% accept all other defaults add a box page border with a three point width and the color than accent six the darker 50 percent accept all other defaults to do this you click on the design tab then in the page background group you click on page border then box border a page a box page border so you click on box then the width you set it to three points then the color color turn six turn accent six turn accent six darker 50% okay turn accent 6 darker 50% so you click and click ok ok that is done task 1 mark completed now task 2 Use the document inspector to remove all of the document properties and personal information from the flyer. Leave all other hidden properties. Use the document inspector to remove all of the document properties and, and personal information from the flyer. Leave all other hidden properties. So to do this, you select the file tab, then select info then you select you scroll down and manage sorry check for issues so inspect document check for issues so you have inspect document click yes so you inspect now remove document properties and personal information now remove all document properties and personal information remove all then close that's it okay task two mark completed task two mark completed then task 3 on the last page below the text state with the highest employment level post pandemic add a table with six rows and three columns on the last page below the text states with the highest employment levels post pandemic add a table with six rows and three columns so now to do this you go to the last page scroll down to the last page the document okay so below the text states with the highest employment level okay to post pandemic so you just select under here now to insert the table go to insert then the table Click on table, insert table, then change this to the number of rows, the number of columns is uh, 3, the number of rows is 6, so change this to 6, ok, 6 rows and 3 columns, so ok, 3 columns and 
six rows. Okay, that is done. So task three, mark completed. Now task four. From the review tab, simultaneously delete all the comments. From the review tab, simultaneously delete all the comments. So to do this, go to the review tab, then to delete all the comments. Just scroll into the document to delete all the comments. Not to delete, then delete all comments, delete all comments in document. Okay, that is done. Then task four, mark completed. Now task five, display the paragraph marks on the document. Display the paragraph marks on the document. So to do this, go to home tab. Then in the paragraph group is the paragraph marks show paragraph marks and other any formatting symbols this is especially useful for advanced layout uh, tasks so just select this and you can see the paragraph mark are now showing are now displayed so now task five mark completed then create project Correct, correct. Project two, task one. Move the image at the top of the document by selecting position in top center with square desk wrapping. Move the image at the top of the document by selecting position in top center with square test wrapping. So to do this, The image at the top of the document. Okay, so this is the image. So move the image at the top of the document by selecting position in top center with square test wrapping. Okay, so you go to picture format. Once the image is selected, the picture format contextual tab will appear on the ribbon. So you click on position, position in top, in top, center with square test, test wrapping. Okay, that's, that, that's done. That's done, it has been positioned. Okay, so task one, mark completed. Now task two, convert the table to test. Separate the data with commas. Convert the table to text. Separate the data with commas. So look for the table. Okay, there is the table. Select the table. So convert the table to text. You just go to the layout tab, layout contextual tab. That will show up when you select the table. It's not part of the regular tab, but it shows when you select a table. So you have layout tab. Click on layout tab, then in the data group, you have convert to text. So separate the data with commas. So select commas. Click OK. OK, that is done. That is done. So text has been separated with commas. OK. So task two, mark completed. Now task three, resolve the comment. Resolve the comment. Okay, here is the comment. So just click and resolve it. Okay, that's done. Now task three, mark completed. And task four, apply a picture style to the graphic of reflective 
devil black. Apply a picture style to the graphic of reflected bevel black. Okay, to do this, go to the picture, then picture format contextual tab. So to apply reflected bevel black. So you go to picture styles and the picture styles group. Go to reflected, reflected, reflected. Reflected bevel black. Reflected bevel black. Okay, it's right here. So ensure you just select the right one. Reflected bevel black. Okay, that is done. Task four, mark completed. Now task five. Track any future modification to this document. Track any future modification to this document. So to do this, uh, just go to the review tab, then to track changes, track, track. So just select this and make sure it is highlighted. So that is done. So make sure this is alighted. So just click to enable track changes. So that the future modification to this document can be tracked. So task five, mark completed. Now create project. Correct. Project 3, Task 1. On the first page, inside the 3D model visor.glb located in the Geometrix Templates folder, drag it into the shaded text box located at the bottom of the page. On the first page, inside the 3D model visor.glb located in the Geometrix Templates folder, drag it into the shaded text box located at the bottom of the page. So, to do this on the first page, just click anywhere on the first page to insert a 3D model. So on the insert tab in the illustrations group, here's the 3D models. So click the drop down arrow, then select this device. Then in the geometrics template folder, click the visor image, let it rise the image and click insert. Okay, then drag it into the shader text box located at the bottom of the page. So just drag this gently into the text box located at the bottom. This is the text box. So drag this to the bottom of the page. So ensure you drag gently at the bottom of the page, just drag and place at the bottom of the page. Okay, that is done. Now task one, mark completed. Task two, apply the all caps text effect to the sentence of page one at Metaverse. We don't sell games, we play them. 
apply the all caps text effect to the sentence on page one at metaverse we don't just sell games we play them so on page one just search for the sentence okay at metaverse we don't just sell games we play them select this text then to apply all caps you go to the home tab click on the home tab and the fonts group you click on the font dialog box launcher then you select under effect select all caps then you select ok so that is done so task 2 mark completed task 3 on the second page merge all cells in the table more of our most popular games into one cell on the second page merge all cells in the table more of our most popular games into one cell so to do this go to the second page go to the second page so here is the table select the table then more of our most popular games then go to the layout tab layout contextual tab then in the merge group select merge cells so all the cells are merged into one one cell okay task three mark completed now task four on the second page restart the numbering of the list are most popular games so the list items are numbered one to six on the second page restart the numbering of the list are most popular games so the list are numbered one to six so our uh, most popular games so just select the list select the list just click on the numbering now you can just right click on the numbering then set numbering value set numbering value start a new list so change this to one set values to one so click ok so one to one to six and most popular games okay just only five uh, there okay now task four mark completed then task five remove the background from the illustration of the game character located on the second page kill or keep all of the character remove the background from the illustration of the game character located on the second page keep all of the character so to do this so scroll down to the second page okay now select the game character illustration of the game character okay that's selected then once that is selected you see on the rib on the ribbon picture format contextual tab so click on it and in the adjust group on the left here click remove background then click mark area to keep mark areas to keep now from the area to remove uh, the one that have the purple background then this is the area you want to keep so from there just with this pencil icon just drag to the top to keep this area okay then drag again from there ensure we keep this area so yeah. 
the head. Okay, if there's any error, we can see undo and mark area to keep. Okay, let me undo again. Okay, so to do this, mark areas to keep so gently from bottom here yeah, just drag up to the head to keep Okay, that is done. Now keep changes. Okay, that is done. Tax five mark completed and great project. Correct project four task one. On the last page, insert a four-point star shape below the last paragraph and center align it. On the last page, insert a four-point star shape below the last paragraph and center align it. So to do this, you scroll down to the last page. Okay. So below the last paragraph, here is the last paragraph, so below it. Just go to the insert tab. That's to insert the four star, four point star. So in the illustrations group, you click on shapes. Then you scroll down under stars and banners. Locate four point star. Then drag to insert it in the document. So now to center align it you go to once you select the shape on the ribbon the shape format contextual tile will show up then go to the arrange group here is align object so select align object and align center okay that is done task one mark completed now task two Use the GoTo feature to navigate to the bookmark insect. In that same sentence, delete the word curiously and its comma. Use the GoTo feature to navigate to the bookmark insect. In that same sentence, delete the word curiously and its comma. Okay, to do this, go to the Home tab. Now, in the editing group select the editing group then find then the drop down arrow here select go to then select the bookmark then the bookmark name insert is here bookmark name insect then go to then close so in that same sentence in that same sentence delete the word curiously Okay, and it's comma. So delete this word with a comma. Curiously. Okay. Now task two. Mark completed. Now task three. Add a blank footer. Then add the text totem pose. Do not display the footer on the cover page. Add a blank footer, 
Then add the text totem pose. Do not display the footer on the cover page. So to do this, you go to the insert tab. Then in the header and footer group, select footer. So blank footer is right here. Blank footer, select the blank footer. Then add the text totem pose okay then do not display the footer on the cover page cover page the first page so just go the first page so the footer shouldn't be on the first page it's not there it's just because the different first page is selected so anytime you don't want the footer to appear on the first page here the first page the cover page so different first page selected so the footer will not appear on the first page which is, which is the cover page so that is it so if you check through you see the first page no footer second page has a footer other pages as well have a footer apart from the first page which is, which is the cover page so that is the closed head and footer now task three mark completed task four at the top of page two in the empty space insert a table of content use the automatic table two at the top of page two in the empty space insert a table of content using automatic table two okay at the top page two so you go to page two page two Okay, let's be two. So at the top of it, insert table of contents. So table of contents located on the references tab. In the table of contents group, you have automatic table two. So table of content, automatic table two. Select automatic table two. Okay, that is done. So task four, mark completed. Now task five. On the bottom of the third page in the paragraph below the clan house, clan house heading, select the word doc tooth and add a direct comment that says, Is this spelled correctly? Uh, John Smith. On the bottom of the third page in the paragraph below the clan house heading, select the word doc tooth and add a directed comment that says is this spelled correctly at john smooth at john smith on the bottom of the third page in the paragraph below the clan house heading select the word dog tooth and add a directed comment that says is this spelled correctly at john smith so to do this go to the top page the bottom of the top page okay select the word dog tooth so select this word then you can see add a new comment you can as well go to the review tab and add comment or go to the insert tab and click on comment okay those are the other two ways so now you type the directed current is this spelled correctly at John Smith. Okay. So you post a comment. Okay, that's done. Tax five mark completed. Now great project. Correct. 
project 5 task 1 copy the formatting of volume 5 is you want located in the upper right corner of the first page and apply it to the date in the opposite corner copy the formatting of volume 5 is you want located in the upper right corner of the first page and apply it to the date in the opposite corner so to do this just go to the text volume 5 is your one and select it then to copy the formatting and apply it to the date in the opposite corner so just go to the home tab in the clipboard group you see format painter select the format painter and drag it over the text okay that is done so that's how you copy format and apply it to another using format painter so task one mark completed now task two at the bottom of the last page add a smart art basic process with the size six wide six inches wide and 0.5 inch i position in bottom center with square test wrapping change the color to color fill accent five so to do this we go to the last uh, page that's the bottom of the last page the bottom of the last page okay so select the bottom clear the bottom okay and to insert or to add a smart art basic process you go to insert term then in the illustrations group you have smart art then process so process and you select basic process and click ok now to change the size of the smart art graphic so select the smart art graphic then go to format in the size group select size and change this to 0 0.5 the height is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so now that is done then uh, position in bottom center with square test wrapping so to position this you go to arrange then position select position the arrange group select position then square with square test wrapping so that's position in bottom center with square test wrapping okay that is done now you have um, changed the color to color fill accent 5 color fill accent 5 so change colors to accent 5 accent 5 so you have color fill accent 5 can you see that okay that is done task 2 mark completed now task 3 Change the width of the table column mount to 1.0 inch. Change the width of the table column mount to 1.0 inch. To 1.0 inch. Change the width of the table column to 1.0 inch. So to do this, locate the table. Okay. So select the column mount. So just place your cursor on the month column as uh, the column month so it will change to a uh, black arrow select it so you can see that now go to layout okay to change the width click on the layout contextual tab so which shows up when you select the uh, table so now change this to one change to one so that's it so that's done mark completed 
task 3 man completed now task 4 on the first page insert the waterfall.jpg photo located in the geometrics templates folder immediately immediately below the last paragraph or the new trail open on the first page insert the waterfall.jpg photo located in the geometrics templates folder immediately below the last paragraph of the new trail of new trail open so on the first page just go to the first page okay so below the last paragraph of the new trail open so this new trail open the last paragraph is this one yeah so just select it and uh, go insert the waterfall picture so go to insert tab then in the illustrations we have picture we have this device then uh, you go to the document as a geometrics template is waterfall click insert okay that is inserted now task 4 mark complete and task 5 check the document for accessibility issues for the first picture that is missing that is missing alternative text add the text new logo Check the document for accessibility issues. For the first picture that is missing alternative text, add the text new logo. To do this, you go to the review tab. So then in the accessibility group, select check accessibility and select check accessibility. Yeah, then the accessibility pane opens under the under errors, the edit errors, select missing object description, then the first picture, select the first picture and select uh, the drop down arrow and select add a description. So add a text, new logo. So here, yeah, add new logo. Logo okay so you close the alt text pane and the accessibility pane okay that is on tax five mark completed project six task one in the space above the heading the seven principles of service keeping insert a screen clipping of the photo displayed on the Xeriscape example.docx document. In the space above the heading, the seven principles of Xeriscaping, insert a screen clipping of the photo displayed on the Xeriscape example.docx document. So to do this, you locate the space above the heading. Okay about the editing the seven principles of zero escaping now to insert the screen clipping of the photo you select the insert tab then in the illustrations group select screenshot so screen and select screen clipping okay or oh, we'll not have the full view of the photo okay let's redo that now i dock this to the top then uh, now can i adjust this i move this up as well so i have full access to the Okay. Now, then you are on the insert tab, and you click where you want the screen clipping to be inserted. Go to illustrations group, then screen clipping. Now, uh, the picture is not fully. 
showing the picture is not fully showing okay okay picture is right here yeah. Paste the bottom and make it full. Okay, now back to the document. Okay, screen clipping. Okay, now select. Okay, there's a full picture that is inserted above the earnings, the seven principles are escaping. Now, I'm bring up the task tab, task one, mark completed, task two. Convert the footnotes associated with the heading, the seven principles of zero escaping to an end note. Convert the footnote associated with the heading, the seven principle of zero escaping to an end note. So to do this, uh, go to the footnotes, mark, okay, the seven principle of zero escaping. So you select the footnote reference mark, then you click on the references tab in the footnote group. You select this uh, footnote and endnote dialog box launcher. Okay, so convert footnote as she did with the adding. The seven principles of zero escape to an end note. So to convert an end note, just convert footnote to end note. Select end note. Read your button. Now you click convert. Convert. Then convert all footnote to end note. Select this and click OK. Then click close here. Yeah. Has been converted. Okay, that's it. Now, task two mark completed. Then task three below the heading the seven principles of zero escaping, beginning with principle one, plan and design, and end with used in com composting pies. Format the seven principles into two columns. Accept all defaults. Below the heading, the seven principles of zero escaping, beginning with principle one, plan and design, and ending with used in composting pies. Format the seven principles into two columns. Accept all defaults. So to do this, you go below the heading beginning with principle one plan and design so an ending with used in composting pies so now select this down to heading composting And the, the text okay used in composting so let's just left from down and up down to up to the plan and design principle one okay so all have been selected and to 
used in composting pipe used in composting pipe okay so format the seven principles into two columns okay so to format this into two columns you go to the layout tab then in the page setup group click column then click select two okay that has been formatted into two columns okay so task three mark completed now task four task four Task four. Insert a column break immediately following the last sentence of principle seven used in composting pies. Insert a column break immediately following the last sentence of principle seven used in composting pies. Okay, to do this, you go to the Principle seven, the last sentence, immediately following the last sentence, principle seven, okay. That is a session break. Okay, so to install section break. Yeah. After principle seven, okay, section break you have in the page setup group that's on the layout tab. You have section break, a column break, column break, the page break, column. So it's that column break. Okay, this is it column break okay that is done now task 4 mark completed then task 5 add the alternative text title office as to the table on the last page add the alternative text title office as to the table on the last page now to do this the table on the last page select click and you to select it now you go to the table layout tab table layout contextual tab as on the ribbon once the table is selected this will appear on the ribbon now in the table group as table group here select properties now select the all text tab and in the title type office as office as Okay, now click OK. That's done. Tax 5 mark completed. Then grade project. Correct. Project 7, task 1. Decrease the list level of the text date next Saturday down to cost $25. Decrease the list level of the text date next Saturday down to cost $25. So to do this, in the document, just scroll down to the list. So just select the 
bullet and go to the home tab in the paragraph group so we have decreased index and increase index so select decrease index okay that has been done so task one mark completed now task two add a bevel relaxed insert shape effect to the three shapes of the smart graphic add a bevel relax insert shape effect to the three shapes of the smart art graphic so to do this scroll down to the smart art graphic and select it so once this is selected on the ribbon i'll be smart art design contextual tab and format contextual tab so select format contextual tab then in the shape styles group see shape format right here then select bevel and select relax insert relax insert as uh, the shape effect okay as required now task two mark completed then task three save the document into the geometrix template folder in the dot pdf file format with the name Gita workshop save the document into the geometrix templates folder in the dot pdf file format with the name Gita workshop so to do this select the file tab then save us and select browse so then select PDF and type the name of the document guitar guitar workshop so ensure you put the correct spelling workshop workshop guitar workshop okay this is already in the geometric template folder so you can as well click document then the folder which is geometrics template okay that is done pdf guitar workshop the name of the file then click save okay that is done now task three mark completed and task four three edits were made to this document open the review pane accept the insert of a insertion of a music teachers and the replacement of camp with workshop but reject the replacement of saturday with friday three edits were made to this document open the review pane accept the insertion of a music teachers and the replacement of camp with workshop but reject the replacement of saturday with friday so to do this we we'll go to the review tab click on review tab then in the tracking group select the drop down arrow next to reviewing pin and select reviewing pin vertical so these are the revision the edits so now go to the first one click a so a accept the re accept the insertion of a okay a of a accept the insertion of a so you go to the review the review tab then changes group accept so accept the insertion of a so you click accept and move to next okay then accept the insertion of, of teachers music teachers so go to teacher as well see accept so now go to accept and accept select accept and move to next okay and the replacement of camp with with workshop so go to 
workshop accept the insertion and the, the that's the replacement I said the replacement of come with workshop so the workshop accept this and go to accept then accept and move to to next okay then this the camp was deleted the only accept this accept and move to next so accept and move to next okay then re but reject replacement of saturday with friday in the document now click here as well saturday was replaced with with friday so you reject it so you come here we see that this will change go to changes group then see reject so reject and move to next okay then reject the replacement of of uh, friday so here as well so you are going to reject reject so go to reject in the changes group reject reject okay there are there aren't any track changes in your document so click ok so all has been done you can now close the revisions pane okay task four mark completed now task five set the line spacing of the list to 1.0 set the line spacing of the list to 1.0 now to do this go to the list in the document so now select the list in the document and click on the home tab in the paragraph group you have line and spacing line and paragraph spacing line and paragraph spacing so select this and select 1.0 okay that is done now task 5 mark completed then grade project Correct. I believe you have learned a lot from the video. So to keep getting this kind of video, ensure you click on the subscribe button and drop your comment. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.